Time for some big square baler news on the new Holland stand. And to share that with us, we've got Marco Otten. So, Marco, what's been happening with you guys in the baler world? Yeah, so we have some very exciting news here on the New Holland side. So, uh, so what you see here in front of you is the 1290 HD. Right. Yes, really that machine designed for those uh, for those contractors, those uh, the guys that are doing. Uh, forage and everything. You're really looking for maximum bale density. Looking for those, you know, high dense bales and maximize the load and maximize the transport weight and everything. And that's what you see here. So here you see the 1290 HD in model year 26. Right. So model year 26 means uh, we've done, you know, the the heart of the machine. We didn't touch that because you know that's good. Don't touch anything that has has proven itself over the years already. But we've done some vital updates. Uh, we've done a few updates in the northern and needle area where we just saw that you know some of the customers that were doing really the high amount of bales, abrasive situations mm. and everything, just to increase the wear resistance there a little bit, just to right. give them a little bit more beef there. Um, then on the other thing is also then we have we would have to go to the other side. With one right. one thing that we did is uh, now we've uh, we've changed our greasing system, so we have a, a much bigger. Um, Greasing container, so we have increased the greasing, you know, the amount of grease that we are carrying with us uh, four times. So Here that's a see. lot, lot bigger now. Yeah, it's it? a lot, a lot, lot bigger than before. So it's about four times bigger than it used to be. And what we also now do is, uh, is we grease actually chains also with grease, just also to give the the, the chains there uh, a bit more. Uh, longevity and right. everything as well. So you've got, you don't do the oil lubrication now, do you not? It's no. just all with yeah. grease. All with grease, yes, yeah, yeah. And that's more, that's more or less what we, the, the big things on uh, some, just some fine tuning, some fine tweaks on the model yeah. year 26, but that's uh, that what we did. Right. The bigger exciting news is actually on the next side is right. on the other machine. Here we have the 1270. So in the 1270, so as you maybe know, we have balers in basically two sizes. You hmm. either have 80 centimeter wide or you have 120 meter bale size yeah. width. So, and then we have 70 or 90 high, but on the on the 120, 1 meter 20 size, we have 70 centimeters high, or we have 90 centimeters high. And then on the 1270, we have two versions. We have the regular 1270, or what you see here is the 1270 plus. Right, so what does the plus bring with it? The plus means it's a, uh, it's more or less, you could say, a 1270 a little bit on steroids. Right. <laughs> so it just, you know, it's a lot more heavier duty. It's just, again, putting more weight in the bale. Yeah. That's the whole thing. It's yeah. really also, again, for the for the customers that really like to maximize their load on, and also in this, si this size, uh, on, on just putting more weight in the bale. Right. Yeah. And where have you, to get that heavy duty characteristics, where have you made it heavy duty on this? Yeah, the, 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 the main thing is that more on the back side. So here, what we really did is, you know, we have some bigger cylinders on the back, just maximizing the pressure on the, uh, on the bale chamber. You know, the, the bale chamber has a side of uh, more like a wedge shape. Yeah, so yeah. you also there, you push the machine, the material more together. And especially for the customers that, do, that are doing, you know, uh, more, lo you know, do a lot of bales, but abrasive, you know, as well. Like we have them running in corn stalks and in Spain, but also, you know, do a lots of straw and everything. All right, yeah. So the whole bale chamber is now actually also equipped with hard ox, just again to increase that that, that longevity and increase right. the, the, you know, the, the wear resistance there. The big new feature on the 1270 plus here is, as we see it here, is we have a complete new cutting unit. We have Looks like it's already popular. Yeah, yeah, it's very, <laughs> no, it's very popular. Yes. Yeah. So what we have here is our new cutting unit, and we can do some detailed shots. So the 1270 or the 1290 normally always came with 29 knives. Right. Um, and here we now have the new ultra cutter which is 57 knives. 57? Yeah, so we are bringing that cutting, you know, the cutting width down to like 20 millimeters. Yeah, yeah. And what sort of customers want that and for what? Yeah, really what? For, for, you know, for the, the ones that are doing maybe some bedding in pig barns or chicken coops or something like that. All right, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, that's what really where, they, where this comes to play. Right. And does that save having to put an extra chopping unit Correct. on the front? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. rather than having that, do it here yeah, instead? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so we have 57 knives, bringing it down to 20 millimeters. Yeah. And then we also have new, uh, we have a knife selection now. So we can choose 
either on the 29 knife unit or on the 57 knife unit we have knife selection and on the 57 unit means we have 14 28 29 or 57 knife all right games. yeah nice sliding frame and everything to 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 look at it so that that knife selection can you do all that from the cab from the screen no there's uh so it's sorry that's mechanical totally is it sorry yeah no the knife selection the knife selection is done over there so the the whole uh, so the knives are single protected by springs. Yeah. Hydraulically engaged, disengaged. The knife selection is down there. You see there the, the oh the gearing down yeah, there. Yeah, the, the gearing. So yeah. you have a small crank that you crank around, and that's where you set the knives to either 14, 28, 29, or 57. Right. And on a 29 knife unit, you have then seven, 14, 15, 29. Yeah. yeah. I suppose it'd be quite good if you do were doing a long day with a sort of a medium chop. You could do half the day with the 29, the other half with the 28. Correct. That's yeah. uh, that's uh, that's also the idea behind yeah. it. Just to increase that flexibility, because sometimes you have customers that want to do long straw, short straw, longer silage, shorter silage. Yeah. So just to give that flexibility. Another night, another thing that comes standard with the ultra cutter is as well. Well, you can imagine 57 knives takes more power. Yeah, yeah. Because your shopping is. We go to the other side. We have now integrated a hydraulic clutch. So that's this, uh, that's this, this unit on this side, right? That's this. So this is the rotor drive. So that's a hydraulic clutch. That is just for the rotor. That's for the rotor, yeah. That's for, right. the, whole, for the whole intake section, you could say. Yeah. yeah. But oh, so that, that's doing pickup as well, is it? Go, yeah, that's right. everything is in, in, in there, yeah. Yeah. And what it does is that normally you have a torque disconnect. We on the on the regular one we have a torque disconnect clutch. Yeah. And then you always have to run a little bit on feeling, you know. Am I ri driving on maximum mm. capacity, maximum pressure, yes or no? But a torque disconnect does a job, but when it goes, it goes. Yeah. With a hydraulic clutch, you know, you can with, with hydraulic uh, pressure you can steer it. And what we do there is on the inside here, we have a torque measure on the right. shaft. So we actually know what the machine is doing. Are we running on the edge, yes or no? Because from the torque measuring device, we're getting instant feedback on the monitor. Yeah. So it shows you are ah, you- So you can really watch what's happening. Correct. Really yeah. maximizing your capacity. And the advantage is you're driving, and if you then have a lump in your swath, which normally the torque disconnect would maybe go, mm. and this can, in this case, actually, the slip clutch will, the, the, the hydraulic clutch will just slip a little bit, but still will try to force it through. All right, so if you just back off a bit and just let this thing do its thing and just take it in, yeah. back on it again. Correct. Correct. Right. In a system like this, could you tie it into TIM? You know, because it's got sensors on here. Could this be telling the tractor what speed to go? Correct. That's exactly because, you know, we have baler automation. Yeah. So baler automation already reads the swath, the swath density and everything yeah. in front of the tractor. So it's looking in front of the tractor. Yeah. Right. So and this is another, it's not, it's it's coming. That's the I, that's the next step in yeah. that as well. That 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 is another tool to actually tell the tractor what speed to run. Right. The nice thing about the hydraulic clutches as well is that if you have a blockage, normally a torque disconnect is set at a certain torque. Mm. Now, you know, if you have a blockage, now you can actually the the system does it automatically for a brief second. It actually increases the pressure, so it increases the torque All to right. force the the yeah. plug through to uh, yeah, to get going again. Yeah. And can you adjust that force at all? For for example, if I had a big tractor on the front of this, could you up the force required to? We have set it already from in the system wise right. to maximum capacity. <laughs> so it's set that you know we can put four yeah. or five hundred horsepower in front of it. So all right. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. all right then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and you just drive to its limits. Correct. And it gives you that feedback on the monitor to show you exactly. Okay, are you where are you at at the limit? Right. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, so yeah, that's a we, you know, it's more of a hidden gem on the on the booth. Yeah. Because it's uh, next year it will be. This is more of a preview. It will be available as from uh, next half of 26. We will have a limited amount of units already in the field next year. Yeah. To as marketing units to really get customers going on and everything. So we will also have some units running in the UK. Perfect. Well, yeah. it'd be worth a look. Yep. At some point. What's we'll that? Cool. Well, Marco. Thank you. Great stuff. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you for the time as well. No worries.